Welcome to Farming Essay, and today I'm going to show you how to model a sickle ball mower. and today I'm going to be showing you how to move sickle bar mower as you can see I have our massive figures into 40 here behind me for the sickle bar mower I think it's 1.2 meters and we're on the pasture grass here that I'm going to show you how to mow on and this video is going to be on how to move sickle bar mower and I'm assuming that you know how to drive a tractor otherwise not click up here somewhere for my tractor now to drive this a video on how to dive this tractor and this is also going to be a tips and tricks video showing all of my tips and tricks that I have for you guys when mowing so before we get going I have one of my tips here for when you're mowing I don't know about rotary mowers or disc mowers disc pines but this is a tool I always carry with me uh, adjustable range I wouldn't leave the yard without one of these on the tractors doesn't matter what I do I at least have one sometimes two because we can't have enough of these and you can use this to put up your stand here and that's one of the first things you have to do so let me show you you have to tighten this bolt quite a bit One thing I can show you about this chain that I made, how it works, I've adjusted it so that it's tight at this height with a bolt and I'm going to show you this height here, it's just enough to give clearance between the grass and this pan protector here at the bottom and I mean, we're going to move on to lower, lowering the blade section here. So, when loading this, you have to loosen this bolt right here. The bolt here, you see, I'm going to take it loose and just throw it on the ground somewhere you can see it. Now, when loading this blade section, it's important to keep these 10 fingers out of the way of the knife because I've heard of a few people that have lost their fingers when doing this because when you set it down, the knives can either bind or they can move up or down and they can take off one of these fingers very easily so it's important to take it at the back side or at where the front out of the way of the knives and then you just lower it down sometimes you have to pull a little bit and just throw the strap there and keep your fingers out of the way and then you go back and fasten the strap with the bolt that you surely know where to find Nice and tight. So once you've done all of that, um, you're basically ready for cutting. I've already showed you to use the three point up. And this is the mower bar here. If you're watching this video or type the search result in, you know this. Now these blades here move from side to side and these act as grabbing fingers to hold the grass as these cut it. So it's kind of a scissor action. And all the way to here and this is one of the grease points that you must remember to grease regularly and the arm runs off the pulley here and I'm going to turn it, turn, it, turn it a little bit so you can see the action inside and then back to the other side and so when you start this you have to go around clockwise around your field 
the first wise, first round, I prefer that. So your blade is going to be away from the fence right here. Show you from the fence. And you have to put your tractor up to the fence, like really close. Makes the second round easier. When you have done your first round clockwise around the field, you turn the tractor around and go anti-clockwise around the field to cut along the fence. Or you can do that last, but I prefer to do that second. And make sure not to cut too close to the fence because the really little turn you make with the tractor with these things makes a large impact on your mower's point away from you. And that's how I learned it on electric fence. But that's a story for another day. So I'm going to get started with this tractor. I run about three low, one high. And your RPMs, you have to get the feeling for that. And you'll learn that as you go on. Isn't it necessary to run it full RPMs with this kind of tractor? Smaller ones, maybe. But with these 240s, one three, massive three, 135s, it's not necessary. Let's get going. I've done my first round around the field clockwise and I'm going to think I think I'm going to continue with this because this is maintenance work on this pasture grass so our sheep is done with it. So we're just cleaning it up for our neighbor. I did something wrong and this is something I have to learn from it. When getting off the tractor remember to put your PTO off. You off yeah. It's very important to do that. Yeah. This bar custom made from us is doing this work at the edge. You can see yeah he's cleaning away now you might wonder why that is on a mower and some people never understand but the mower has this shoe here that it, it runs off and you put the shoe in that clearing spot so it doesn't get caught on the grass and whatever you want to cut and that's going to help so i think that's all tips and tricks and how to i have on this i'm going to take you with me on the tractor now you can see a uh, from my operator's perspective on this and then I'm going to get going and finish because I want to okay, finish this and be with me and then we'll see you when I'm done.
one of the tricks I have with my sleeve that I learned from using one of these old tractors with a lift that doesn't keep its height perfectly. So when mowing with one of these sickle bar mowers, you want to keep your fan belts and stuff out of the way of the grass, not dragging on the ground, which it will do if you don't keep your lift up in the air. You just turn it around the side. So we made, I made a chain that hooks up to the three-point bolt and that keeps the lift up. So if you don't have a new tractor that can or an older tractor that can't keep the lift tight, that's one of the tips I have. And I'll just show you it here now and you adjust that to the right height to keep your mower belts out of the ground soil. So I'll show you that and show you a few things. This is the chain hooked up to three point bolt and the U bolt something I think it's U bolt up here into the three point arm. One thing I forgot to mention is your three point hitch. Is that way here? And that's going to adjust the angle on your cutting blades here. And the angle on your cutting blades is quite important for the material that you're cutting. With alfalfa, we put it lower with this kind of stuff. I raise it up a little bit so it rides over the things, the grass, and instead of through the old grass, because then it will only jam your blades. So that's all I know on how to run. So I've done with, I'm done for the day here, I've done three passes around the field, but it's time for me to head into the yard, put the sheep back in the corrals for the night to prevent theft and other things, and then I have to go and do other stuff. So I'm done for the day, and that is my video on how to mow with a sickle bar mower. The last thing I'm going to show you is how to fold it up, that's the reverse of folding it down and then I'm going to head home. So, thank you for clicking on this video on how to mow with a sickle bar mower. I hope you enjoy it and don't forget to like and subscribe. You'll do me a huge favor if you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. So thank you for watching and let's get this thing folded up and head home.